Yes, you are. You didn't are. want a terrorist attack on his watch, so he called it workplace violence. Everyone knows this was terrorism. Everyone knows. Because the facts are, welfare spending has grown 16-fold since the 1960s. Julie, where are the success stories? And then, well, that is not an independent woman. That, by definition, is a dependent woman. And the war on women is being waged by the Democratic Party. It's a covert war to paint women as victims in need of government assistance. I will not be a victim. Come, But what the Obama administration isn't telling you is that in 2016, that penalty goes up to $695 for wow. 2.5% of your income. Well, and the IRS is going to be the aggressive watchdog after the American people. Yeah. To have a deputy chief of staff that would think that this is okay speaks very poorly of Chris Christie. And to think that he wouldn't know this is going on in his own administration speaks equally as poorly. And I, but this has been ignored because the focus has been on That's guns. Nice television used to be about family. We all remember the Cosby show. That was yeah. television. But now it's not just anti-family. It's hostile to my values as a conservative Christian. It's hostile. Yeah. My kids, you know, I, I imagine... Five years from now, when I have kids, they're not going to be able to even watch. And Wait, that's the sad. office is hostile. Sad state of America. The office no, the fam is modern family, family guy, family so guy, hostile. Turn. For instance, they wanted to pass a bill to fund the NIH to fund child's cancer research, but Democrats would not come Which to the table. Which they defunded by I'm shutting sure the government down. I'm not sure how you down. can say that they're not trying to make this hurt. Well, no, 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 you can't use that excuse because Tip O'Neill shut down the government 12 times. Government shutdowns have always been used to negotiate and push points and come to the table. The difference is President Obama won't come to the table, and he's making it hurt for the American people, and it's not right. It's In the interest of bipartisanship, how will Chris Christie or Michael Moore fit, too? So, anyway, <laughs> that, is, that aside, that is that aside, it's our favorite time of the day, bonus points. Who on the panel made the best point? I give Donnie kudos for reaching across the aisle and saying that these victims of Fort Hood deserve Purple Hearts because they absolutely do. And, and good for you for, for recognizing that. And I look forward to our protests in front of the White House. There you go. I pat him on the back. We're, we're pat pulling him on the, the right back. word. Bonus yeah, point. Donnie, there's an exception to that statistic, and it's the United States of America, the greatest country on earth, where 73% of citizens profess Christianity as their belief. This is a country founded on Judeo-Christian values and the majority what? adhere to those values. There's a minority, there's a minority like the professor it last week was. who had his students write Jesus on a piece of paper, rip it up, step on it, stomp on it, and expelled the kid who, who did not do, participate in this exercise. There's a minority who wants to take under God out of the Pledge of Allegiance, but they're the minority. The majority showed up to watch the Bible. Yeah, by the way, uh, we're With hundreds of millions of dollars and government resources at his fingertips, Obama, the CEO of all this, could not even do what Mark Zuckerberg did in the dorm room at Harvard when he created Facebook with no money and no resources. You know, if the president were being honest tonight, he would say what Gerald Ford said in 1975, the State of the Union is bad, and he would lay out his plan to fix Obamacare. That's what I'd like to hear from the president. I don't think we're going to hear it. Mm, Kaylee, Marjorie, thanks so much for the analysis. We'll see what happens tonight. Thank you, ladies. This is a month? I look state, a month, and I look state by state, and it's virtually, if you take right now what you're paying and multiply it times three, that's essentially what you would be expected to pay in an exchange. Tamara, just because you're allowed to do something, that doesn't make it right. Parents, medium house Household income in 1990 was 27,000 for a millennial household. It's six thousand dollars now. This is Obama's America, where we're seeing mass unemployment. We're seeing health care premiums for a millennial are three times what they were last year. Millennials are suffering. They're hurting. They are the poor. They are the income inequality. It's the millennial generation, and quite frankly, they're not buying the president's message anymore. They're just not. It's he's full of broken promises. And we're going to hear more of those broken promises. The, the fundamental problem is Democrats are framing the debate and voters do not think Republicans are in touch with them. And the Republicans are so far behind. In 2012, they spent just 3% on social media and new media. And Obama outspent Romney by 10 to 1. But Neil, in the private sector, there's much more direct accountability. The boss is shelling out the money and they're going to have, you know, an interest in ensuring that their employees act in an efficient manner. Whereas in government, I, there's just not that sense of accountability. The taxpayer, I'm not there to watch to see how my money is being spent. Hey, Kaylee, every Christian kid you're worried about, they have seen porn on the internet and can see it any time Does it make day. it right? Is the status quo an excuse to not make change? Because that's essentially what you're saying. You're that right. the status I mean, quo is an excuse yeah. to not make a more idealistic, better world that we want to work you, towards. You want to you go more... I want to. I want to get back to the Cosby puritanical? days. Well, I think Jason happening. does too, and Margaret no. does too. Let's get back to the Cosby days and out to of the status quo. The status quo is that's... not right. Why do you want to get but, back? But, but it, you see, it's you not know, happening because we have people like you saying it, we, it's not going to happen. You're the you're the reason. It's Donnie. It's no, all Donnie. No, no. What I'm saying is the interesting thing is that you. 
It's going to be absolutely disastrous, Bill. You know, the president has decided representative democracy just doesn't work for him. So he's going to take the George III approach and rule by executive fiat. But the Harvard study said that if the president was on the ballot today, 54% of millennials would vote to recall the president. That's startling. This is a group that came out for him in droves, but 54% would vote to recall him? That's astonishing. But, uh, the real people who need to be punished are the parents here. Because I can tell you this, when a parent does their job, a kid doesn't do what I saw on that tape. Yeah. And it is undeniable that these movies, the violence we see on our televisions, is a contributing factor to what we well, Here's a counterpoint to what you're saying. After 9-11, the people who died in the Pentagon got a Purple Heart, and that did not have any effect on Khalid Sheikh Mohammed's trial. So I think that's uh, not, not necessarily a great argument for this, for denying our heroes what they deserve, these Purple Hearts. And, you know, to your, uh, another point, Donnie, the, your liberal president is the one who started this all by, by refusing. I, I didn't know I was responsible for putting him in office. Did, yes, you he are. didn't want a terrorist attack on his watch, so he called it workplace violence. Everyone knows this was terrorism. Everyone. He called it because he's trying to get this guy convicted. What do you want, Kaylee? Well, do you he, want him convicted? Do think, or do you want these people KSM, to get their Purple Hearts two KSM years early? But is KSM not going to get convicted because we gave Purple Hearts to those in the Pentagon? It's no, I'm talking about this trial. But this it's is a much the same, smaller the same Jason, situation. Why, why, then aren't we putting the interests of Nadal Hassan above the interests of our brave Thank men you. and women? Thank you. No, we're so putting the part of the problem is the difference between conservatism and liberalism. The essential difference is conservatives believe in the power of the American people and the power of what made this country great, which is the, in, the ingenuity and the, the worth of the American people. And I believe if people are given the chance and off the government programs, that they can work and they can make a living for okay. themselves. Because he's giving Georgia his life for his country. Yes. Donnie, will you work with me and bring the two sides together? Let's have a protest in front of the White House to get this done. Can we do that? Well, let's, we're going, you know, we'll go this we'll weekend, okay? Bipartisan <laughs> protest. Me and Donnie. Hands across the <laughs> Obama blew it for a different reason than I think you think Obama blew it. He blew it by focusing on guns rather than the real issue that could have stopped some of these shootings, which is mental health. You look at Jared Loeffner, and I have right here timeline of his mental health and it's frightening some of the things you read psychologists said he she saw signs of schizophrenia at a Kim, college a classmate it's, not or, no, it's no, always going to be but, a class, but we have a classmate of his wrote you will see this guy on the news with an automatic weapon okay. and then he shoots 19 people in six but, right, but, but, I, but I, this I, has been ignored because the focus has been on guns. by the way no but we, I, I, it's been you, politicized it's not i it's not it's all no, I factor. have the fact that James Holmes said I am the Joker from Dark Knight Rising. That's he thought he's he was the crazy. Joker. That have, doesn't mean that it's a contributing was, factor, it factor to people's is violent a, he behavior. He dyed his hair orange to be the Joker. Because he was crazy. And, and, and authorities came out and said, point blank, Adam Lanzo was motivated by video games. He was motivated. He was acting out a real-life fantasy. Feminists of the third wave want women to believe you cannot be female if you only want to be a stay-at-home mom. And I just think that's uh -oh. incorrect. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. And they're going to a re-engagement facility, which Charles Payne seems fun. quite excited to go to. <laughs> We're going to relegate Charles Payne off to be re-engaged as well. <laughs> that sounds like a sign. A lot of this is so new. iPads are so new. It takes years to do a study with children to see how it truly affects them. I mean, is this something we're going to find out five years from now? That yeah, they are The fact that Andrew Cuomo would placate his leftist, liberal Hollywood donors for the 2016 presidential race at the expense of potentially American lives is disconcerting to me. Am I hearing Donnie advocate a right-wing policy over there? <laughs> no, he doesn't it really know. is. I, I, he doesn't know. know. He doesn't know. know. The, I, I've been morphing in this show. <laughs> <thing. laughs> you have been. I like Pull it. Pull into the right. We have to get to the lowest common denominator here, which is the teachers' unions that protect some of these guys who get to these high ranks um, among teachers that don't deserve it. We're not rewarding the teachers who are good at their That's job. That's why you need the grading Because system. the union yeah. is protecting the teachers who are doing a horrific yeah. job. So yeah. that, that, to me, is the root of the problem. It's so right, and it helps NBC. But now it's time for NBC to help themselves and remain loyal to Leno. Leno had a seven-week high in viewership. He's beating Letterman. He's beating Kimmel. He will succeed. He will come out on top in this. And I think it's time for them to show a little loyalty, give him the benefit of the doubt, keep him in there. And, you know, I have a special place in my heart for Leno because he, he takes jabs at the right as mm -hmm. well as the left. So I, I have a special place in my heart for him, and I think it's time NBC shows some loyalty. You know, this isn't a done deal. Donnie, to your point, I, I think you're, you're spot on that millennials are important, and, and this younger demo is important, but don't bet against the old guy. I'm a huge <laughs> Indianapolis Colts fan. I love, By the way, love, Jay, love Peyton Manning, and that should be an instructive story. Don't bet against the should, old guy. Give him a shot. But they, Jay, are you Jay, saying they should have kept Manning? Oh, yeah, I think they should have. I don't they know, Denver was happy to get it. It's, it's, I know, years. I know, it's a tough predicament, but <laughs> I have a Peyton Manning fathead in my apartment. 
He has still? my heart. Yes, still. Wow. Are you a Broncos fan now? No, I'm still a Colts fan. Final, but... <laughs> final PR lesson. One things which Kaylee's saying. They're 68 percent right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, 67 percent. And you know, she's the most popular presidential candidate since George Washington. I mean, this woman <laughs> seems to have it in the bag. But Donnie, I want to challenge you and say, you know, this is the curse of heightened expectations. She can only go down from here. Everyone's talking about President Hillary Clinton as if it's a foregone conclusion, but it's not. And if she falters just a bit. She goes down tremendously. So I think it's far from, from a foregone conclusion. By the way, she, 2016. She... I've seen it firsthand being in college. I've seen kids laugh and say, I went to the doctor and convinced him I'm ADHD. These are Georgetown students, smart kids who got here. Some kids Why? need it. Because they want it, the pills. Because they want the pills. You know, people, they have, there's a big market for it. Kids would sell their ADD medicine to others. That's why there's a study 30% at the University of Kentucky have used illegal stimulants because it makes you focus. You study. Right. According to Michael's people, he started using drugs. Do you think that's fair game? No, and the mother's discrediting, discrediting his legacy by doing that. I personally exactly. have a soft spot in my heart for Michael Jackson. Like who Margaret acknowledged, yeah. who doesn't? And by doing this and dredging up this history, it's just going I'll to... I'll say it's worse than that. I say it sickens me. Yeah. It sickens me. They... This, I mean, this guy was denied a childhood, and you could see that evidently in his adulthood. And I'm not convinced he did it, and let's, you know, give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to mimic Donnie and do one of these. <laughs> and you're so spot on, because, you know, it's not the degree. It's what you do alongside the degree. You know, I... I major in international politics. I'm sure it's somewhere on this list as people who are unemployed, but I had a passion and I interned in the White House and interned on Capitol Hill. And that's what it's about, what you do alongside your degree, because interning's the key, that's the key to employment. Both the women at the panel get my award for shaming the men and showing us that uh, <laughs> the stronger sex does not cheat. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs>